Hi folks, Master Hall on Android.com, where we get <coughs> on Android every day. Uh, anyway, we got the International One X, uh, also with an unofficial version of CM12. Um, this is just as good, pretty much identical. If you want to see what it's like, see my previous video with the AT&T One XL. Uh, AT&T One X or One XL. Uh, this, but I'll give you uh, an two to benchmark real quick here. And uh, also, the point of this video is the installation because installation is sort of complicated. With the International One X, the file system has changed. Um, so you do have to wipe out your whole device. And I'll have a full tutorial guide after this. But let's add, go ahead and run N22 since the International version of One X has a different chip uh, than the Qualcomm on the AT&T One X or One XL. Um, so this should give you much uh, faster results much uh, better results than the One XL. So I'll be back. Hi guys, so 19,949, not too bad. It's actually about the same as the AT&T One X. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and show you how to install it. This ROM is super fast. Also, same thing, everything works out of the box. Uh, but installation is a little bit, a little, a little bit crazy. Um, so first thing you'll wanna do uh, is basically put it into fast boot mode because we're gonna go ahead and update the uh, torp recovery. Uh, before we do this, make a backup of everything. We're gonna go ahead and have to wipe off everything for the new file system. So go ahead and make a backup of all your um, personal files, videos, copy it to your computer before beginning this guide here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put it into uh, fast boot. So volume down and the center home. And by the way, I do have an instruction guide for all Mac, uh, Windows, and Linux. Um, for Mac or Linux, just follow the, the different code. Um, ooh, battery level is too level. Um, actually, I do have enough battery. I don't know what this is saying, but uh, let me just go ahead and show you. Go ahead and connect it to uh, your computer. It should say Fastboot USB. If it doesn't say, you might have to install the new drivers. Let's go to your computer. All right, next go ahead and download fastboot1x.zip. Um, double click and extract all files. Uh, same thing for Mac or Linux. And you'll get a folder, you should get a folder called uh, fastboot1x. Uh, there we go, this one here. I put all the files you need there so you don't have to go download a bunch of files. Um, next go in here. And also make sure your driver is installed. You should see this uh, HCC bootloader ADB interface in your device manager. Uh, if you don't see this in your device manager, Go ahead and install the HCC drivers. I'll have a link to it. Uh, once you have this, we're ready to go. All right, uh, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and flash twerp recovery. So go ahead and open up a command prompt. Um, you can go start search and type CMD. Or for Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and open up a terminal. If you don't know how to do this, uh, please Google it. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go into that directory. So type CD fastboot. 1x, oops, sorry, cd downloads, and then type cd fastboot uh, 1x, like that, all right? And once we're here, we're gonna go ahead and flash the new recovery, so type fastboot, space flash, space recovery, uh, space, and we're gonna put the this file name here, twerp 2851-big.img. This will flash the new recovery that will allow you to install uh, Lollipop ROMs. All right, and you should get okay. Uh, once that's done, um, you are good to go. Let's go back to our computer. Sorry, I, I meant uh, back to the phone. All right, um, to, it should say hboot there. Hit hboot, and then go down to recovery. Hit the power button. This will give you the new twerp that will allow you to install uh, Lollipop. But we do have to reset the file system, uh, pretty much erase everything on your phone again. Don't do this before saving all your stuff, okay? Uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and go into wipe, and we're gonna choose format data, all right? And you'll have to type yes. This will erase everything on your phone, okay? Say yes, and this will wipe out and set up a new layout uh, for your computer. All right, go back home and go ahead and go to reboot and go to reboot recovery. All right, and that will reset everything. And we'll go back into recovery and uh, this new recovery actually gives you MTP mode. You should be able to copy files 
uh, back and forth from your phone easily. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. And go ahead and connect it. Go ahead and go to mount. And then go ahead and connect it back to your computer. And let's go back to your computer. All right, you should now see uh, your 1X pop up. It doesn't pop up. Go ahead and hit the, whoops. Go ahead and hit the disable MTP button. Ooh. All right, wait a couple seconds and hit enable MTP again. And that should uh, pop up the new disk drives. There we go. So you have uh, two extra gigs of data plus internal storage. Uh, now everything has been wiped off. Now I put the ROM files that you need here. So go ahead and copy the CM12 blah blah and the G apps blah blah. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and oops, that's the wrong one. Sorry, um, CM12 blah blah and the PA G apps Pico. All right, go ahead and copy those files. Right click copy. And then we're going to paste it into the internal storage so we can actually flash the ROM. All right. And this will copy over the files you need to uh, uh, run Lollipop here, CM12. Now, in the future, when you install it, you don't have to do this whole process. Um, so long as you're installing Lollipop ROMs, you can go ahead and just use the regular method. All right, once that's done, let's go back to our phone. And we'll do it here so I don't have to change the camera angle. And this is pretty simple to do. All right, swipe to unlock. And let's go back to home. Um, do a st standard uh, install here. We're going to do wipe, wipe factory reset. Install the ROM, the CM12, blah, blah, blah. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and install the G apps, the other file. And also, there's one more thing. Uh, if you don't have S off like I do, if you have, still have S on, you do need to flash boot.image, which I also put in the zip file so you don't have to mess with it. And give it a second here. All right. And go back to home, choose reboot, and choose bootloader. All right. And we'll, we'll do the final flash of the boot.image uh, because I have S off, S on here, uh, which means I have to flash it separately. You just say fast boot USB, go back to your command prompt here. All right. And you're going to type fast boot, yep. flash, space boot, space boot dot image, IMG like that. Hit enter and that will flash the boot image. And you can go back here, um, choose hboot all right and uh, you don't need this anymore and then go ahead mm -hmm. and choose uh oh sorry go back to fast boot reboot and that's it let me go ahead and change the camera angle real quick and this will boot you up to the new lollipop all the new lollipop now you should be able to install uh, you don't have to do that. You just have to do this once if you've never done this, if you've never installed Lollipop ROM on your 1X. This is only for the international 1X, AT&T 1X. You don't have to do this. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll be back when this boots up. All right, guys, once you get to this screen, you are good to go. And uh, you should be good to go. <laughs> And go ahead and I'll just go ahead and skip it to show you that everything is working just fine here. And that's it. Uh, now you should be able to install any ROM you want, uh, any Lollipop ROM. And uh, this is great because you get a ton of performance improvements. Um, so highly recommend it. Do try it uh, when you have time this week. And revamp your phone into Lollipopin. And I'll see you guys soon. Oh yeah. And thanks guys for watching this video. This is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos. If you want to see my main videos, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomax, uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6, the Note Edge, uh, Note 4, and all of the latest Android gadgets. And I will see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.